Hello everyone, uh, coming at you with another tutorial today. I'm going to be going over my claw hammer version of Tyler Childers' Lady May. Uh, I posted my cover of this on YouTube a little over two years ago now, and since then I've had a couple people reach out wanting to learn it, so I'm going to go ahead and put a tutorial together for you. So to get started here, just the, the basic stuff, we're going to need to tune our banjos to double C. So it's going to be our fifth string, it's going to be a G, fourth string a C, third string a G, second string a C, and first string a D. I take all of that and I capo it at the third fret, so I play it in the original key that it was recorded in, which is uh, E flat. It's kind of a weird key for a banjo. Um, if you're playing the song on the banjo and you have a fiddler, it'd probably be a lot easier to drop it down a half step to D. Um, but I sing it in the original key, so I just do it on the third fret. But I'll be explaining everything relative to the capo. So um, I'm going to say second fret. It's actually our fifth fret on the banjo, but it's a lot easier just to speak relative to the capo. So you can move the capo wherever you need to or take the capo off. It doesn't really matter. This is all going to uh, work the same way. Um, so our three chords that we're going to need for this song are going to be our C major, and that is just the second fret of our first string. And that's actually the key of the song, so that's going to be kind of where the song always falls back into, and when it comes to all the riffs, it's going to be focused around that chord mainly, so when in doubt, go back to that shape. Next chord is going to be the F major chord, so we're going to go up one fret on that same string, the first string, and then we're going to put another finger on the second fret of the third string. And the last chord is going to be our A minor shape. So that's going to be like the C major, but we're going to keep a finger on the second fret of that third string. Or if you want to think of it as the F major, but you're just taking this finger and going down one fret. So. so it's a pretty easy box that all of these chords are in. And if you can do those three chords, that's going to cover all of the verses. Um, Pretty much. There's a little bit of walk-ups and things like that that we'll get to once we get to the actual riffs and stuff. But when it comes to the singing and the verses and all of that, those three chords are all you need. But I'll go over the fun part, the intro and all of that. So uh, we're going to start with a full brush of that C major chord. And once we hit the last string on that brush, we're going to pull off of that fret. So... And after that, we're going to hit the second string three times. So. Once you do that, uh, you're going to do two brushes. And that first brush is going to be fully open, so no chords. And that second brush, we're going to hammer on to the C major chord again. So. so put all together should sound like this. And then right after that, we're going to do a pretty common lick for the way I play this, which is to hit our first string on the second fret and pull off of that. And then right after that, hit our second string open. So put all of that together, it's going to sound like... So 
that's kind of our first part of that riff. And then we're going to jump to our F major chord. And we're going to do two strums and then end on a thumb there. And then from there, we're actually going to go to the fifth fret on the first string and do the same exact strumming thing where it's like two strums and then you're hitting that drone string. So. And then from there, we're going to do another open strum, open brush, open strum, and hammer back onto that C major chord. So. Then we're going to do that same little lick where we. So pulling off second fret and then second string open. And then we're actually going to do that whole thing again. So. So put all together, it should sound like this. And then from there, we're going to hit our third string open and hammer all into the second fret with it. So, and that's where we, in the song, we're going to be on that A minor chord. So, and then from there, I like to slide up and do kind of a walk up back to that second string open, which is going to be our C note. So, and then from the second fret on the third string, I'm going to hit the third string again and slide up to the fourth fret and then hit the second string open. And that is pretty much the whole riff. So put all together should sound like So again, one more time slow. So that is the intro riff and the, the riff that it kind of goes back to after uh, he says Lady May a bunch. Um, and I speed, I speed it up a little in, in my cover, basically just to fit the bum ditty rhythm of Clawhammer Banjo to it a little better. Um, you can do it at whatever speed you want, and that's pretty much the basic premise of how I do it. Good enough to get you through the song. Um, and so the singing part, the verses... I kind of add elements of that riff to it, so I'm pretty sure when Tyler Childers is playing guitar, he's walking up to that C major, so, and that's going to be the part that's like, and the more you work with it, the more easy it becomes to kind of fit it to the bum ditty rhythm. Um, so when I first sat down and worked this out for myself, I, I did it pretty quick. So. the whole thing. Uh, I hope that helps and I hope you have fun taking it. Thanks.